So hello and welcome back to the Hornby Magazine Workshop. Today we had something rather special in the new Backman Class 47. So today on the layout we've got uh, well, two out of the five new versions of the Class 47 which are coming out from Backman using their brand new tooling which was announced in their autumn British Model Railway announcements. And we've got D1565 in BR two-tone green, modern locomotives in original condition as they were delivered from sort of 19, mid-1960s. And we've also got 47004 in rail freight construction sector delivery as well. And uh, well, a lot of detail difference between the two of them. A lot to talk about with these two locos. So uh, let's get on and tell everyone about it. So I suppose we should start, Backman are releasing these individually in three types, three brackets of detail, should we say. These are the what were, are being known as the deluxe models. What makes them deluxe and then what are the other categories? Okay, so I'll, I'll start in a bit backwards with that. So the, this, as you say, it's three different types of each model. So you can buy D1565 DCC ready, so as you would with a, a normal model, so that's DCC ready with a uh, Plux 22 decoder socket in it. It'll also have pre-fitted speakers in there as well, but it'll work on analog control straight out of the box. You can also buy the same model DCC sound fitted, so that's with uh, Backman's own Lock Sound V5 uh, sound decoder plugged into it, and that gives you the sound operating through the speakers. So that's their sound fitted version, again, something we're all quite familiar with with the Backman territory, so they've got their DCC ready and sound fitted versions. And then the third version is this sound fitted deluxe model, which is a brand new way of looking at models from Backman. Um, I think it's quite exciting myself. It's another adding more things to the to the market to show, to show what you can do with it, uh, and that adds to that sound fitted model. You also get um, powered, independently operated roof fans, and you also get uh, tinted glazing them as well, which is a, a authentic replication of how the Class Forty Seven uh, front windows were as well. So taking things a step further, and that uh, powered roof fan module, it's got a, its own separate motor inside the loco, which drives the fans, and it's linked back to the sound decoder. It operates at random whilst the loco is out and running, uh, and it can also be manually controlled as well, so you can physically turn those fans on and off with your DCC handset as well. So really nice additions to what a standard sound fitted model would be. It's so one thing I really like about uh, Backman's sound fitted models in particular, is you can run them on DCC or DC and the sounds still work, but the fans work as well now. Yes, that's right, yeah. So if you've got the sound fitted deluxe model, you get the, the full level of everything that the model can do. Uh, it takes another step beyond just having sound in it. And also they've changed the speaker setup in these as well. So like I said a minute ago, they've now got twin speakers in them. So they've got a, a 15 millimeter by 11 millimeter sugar cube, and they've also got a 27 millimeter round speaker in there. Uh, and that actually gives a, quite a significant difference over what we've seen recently where like I said, the smaller 15 by 11 sugar cube only in them, like things like the class 24 or the class 20. Sometimes they've been a little bit quiet. Um, these are, well, to my ears, they sound great. They're, they're the right kind of sound level. You could tone them down if you want to have them a little bit quieter, uh, but actually the, the peak sound level is really good. They're very nice, especially running around Topledale. Yeah. Now, Batman's headline when these were announced were they've invested a million pounds to bring us a brand new Class 47. So what have they brought us for that million pounds? <laughs> the opportunity to do as many as possible out of the 512 Class 47s, uh, and not just in one form either. So uh, everyone who knows Class 47s will know there's lots of different subclasses of 47s. There were, well, hundreds of different modifications to them. Um, some had different cab front arrangements at each end of them. Some had changes to the buffer beam. There was changes to the roof layout. There was changes to everything on the Class 47, basically, during the lifetime. So Backman's million pound investment in tooling gives them a full suite of tools which can do Class 47s from day one in the mid-1960s to the present day, uh, and everything in between as well. You know, so exciting things like different types of buffers, different uh, roof grills, different body profiles to suit different uh, loco builds as well. It's like they were telling us about one of the very small details on these, is there's, there's a bracket on, on the buffer beam which denotes which um, works it was built at. And there's different patterns for the two different works. They're actually able to accommodate that within the tooling as well, to show that as well. Um, so phenomenally detailed toolings. Um, the other thing that everyone has to do with one of these Batman Class 47s when they see one or get their hands on one, turn it upside down because it's fabulous underneath as well. You know, don't just look at it on top, look at it underneath and you start to see where all the value of it comes as well. You say that, there's detail everywhere, whether it be in the cab or even now looking into the engine room. We've no longer got the, um, the blank um, piece of plastic or piece of metal yeah. that we once had. You've now got engine detail. Yeah, it's just have, yeah. everywhere. Yeah, detail is, is, yeah, it's filtering through everywhere. Um, I, I've got to say, when, when I first saw they were doing a class 47, I was thinking, well, you know, we've got lots of 47s already. Um, how can it possibly be better than what's been on the market? Actually, it's firmly 
considerably better than what's gone before. Uh, this is a massive step up from what Backman produced previously with its class 47, which in the grand scheme of things wasn't that old in some ways. I think it was uh, sort of um, early 2009-2010 when they released it. Um, I've got a few of them, quite a lot of them. Um, they've always run well, but actually when you put them side by side with these, you can see the significant difference in the quality of the detail that's been put into them now as well. Um, so again, for, for all those who are thinking, well, why do I need a brand new 47 now? Well, this is literally brand new from the wheels up to the roof. Everything's brand new designed on this. And this model will be with us for a long time, I imagine now. I would expect so, yeah. Well, with, with such a huge portfolio of options within the tooling, you're going to have a long lifespan for the class 47. And again, anyone who knows class 47s, there's always another livery for class 47. There's so many choices when it comes to liveries. And as Backman themselves uh, have said, the aim isn't to replace your current collection, but it's to enhance it if you add to your collection of 47s. So um, they do stand side by side very well. Yeah, yeah they do, yeah. that's right. Yeah. So I've already seen options that I want to expend my class 47 collection with. So. <laughs> so Backman themselves are bringing us lots of variants of the class 47. Admittedly, not all at the same time. They're bringing five out initially. So Mike, what are the first five we can look forward to? Okay, well, we've got two of them on the layout here today. So you've got D1565 in original BR2 tone green. Uh, Classic Class 47 livery. Uh, if also for the uh, BR Blue Tops era livery, we've got a BR Blue one coming as well. Uh, then next in line is 47004, and it's Rail Freight Construction livery we've got showing here today. Uh, it's also going to be a Rail Freight Distribution European livery one, which is like the dark grey and light grey um, like operated at Tinsley Depot. Um, so we've got one of those coming as well. And finally, with the most oh, well, latest period, one in this first batch, uh, we've got a 478 coming in BR Intercity livery as well. So you could model right from the start to the end, really, pretty much? Uh, well, right to the start to the middle, I suppose, now, because there's been a lot more liveries on Class 47s since Intercity now. <laughs> I, I, I kind of think of 47s like in Intercity period, like coming to the end of their life with Virgin Trains and things in sort of the early 2000s. But actually, so many liveries have appeared on 47s since then. You know, DRS, West Coast Railways, all those kind of colour schemes that have appeared on them since. Adventure Freight livery as well, Colas Rail Freight as well. Um, I could go on, but I won't. Um, so there's actually, we're only really covering the first, what, 40 years of the Class 47 life, up to in city livery. Um, there's plenty more to go. So, from your first look at the d Super Deluxe model, what are your thoughts? Uh, I want one, that was my first thought. Um, I, I wasn't expecting to be quite so taken with the, the Deluxe option, but actually with the powered roof fans and the, the glazing in it as well, uh, I think for the price difference between that and a standard sound fitted version, for me personally, I think it'd be 30 quid I'd probably look to spend to, to, to go that next step up and have everything with it. Um, I do like things that work with a model. I like the technology that's been built into models lately. I like to see what we can do with them that's beyond just having a loco with a motor inside it. Um, so that all ticks lots of boxes for me. Absolutely, I can see one definitely being added to the collection. <laughs> So for those at home, Mike, who want to read the full review, where can they see it? Okay, so the full review of Backman's new Class 47 is in the latest issue of Hornby magazine. You can see the link in the description to find that issue. We can read our full detailed review of these locomotives with brilliant pictures, I must say, showing all the details of the loco. And we go through the full specification as well to so we explain all those details that make these models pop. Uh, you can also you can read that online at keymodworld.com as well, uh, together with watching videos like this and more exclusive videos too. And say, talking of keymodworld.com, if you want to see a full sound demonstration, subscribers can watch that right now on keymodworld.com. And that sound demonstration is for Backman's factory fitted sound logos as well. So you can see and explore the full range of what they can do. Out of the box. Out of the box, indeed. Right, thank you very much as ever for watching. Take care and we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. <laughs>